Hey everybody, Nick here, also known as The Bearded Housewife, and welcome to another card making video. Today I have this super cute Valentine's Day card for you. L a love like gnome other, with these cute little layered gnomes on the front, and then open it up and it has Happy Valentine's Day on the inside. It comes with an included envelope and is super easy to make. I can't wait to show it to you. If you haven't yet, make sure that you hit like and smash that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any card making fun. And with that, let's get to it. Step one, get the free SVG cut file. Here we are at my blog, thebeardedhousewife.com. We're gonna head to the resource library tab if you don't have access to my free file library, you can click Get Access. But for now, we're going to head to Enter the Library. We'll type in the password and hit Enter. And then you're brought to the free files. So you're going to want to look for number 113, the Gnome Valentine's Day card. Click on that link and download it to your computer. Unzip the file and then go ahead and open up Cricut Design Space. Step 2. Upload the design to Cricut Design Space. Now that we're in a new project in Cricut Design Space, we can head to Upload, Upload Image, and then Browse. Find where we downloaded the file onto our computer, and click Open, and then Upload. Highlight that image, and then click Add to Canvas. Step 3. Convert score lines in any text. Now that our project has been uploaded into our canvas, we can head up to Ungroup, then scroll down to the bottom of the Layers panel, highlight the score line for the envelope, come up to Operation, change that to Score, highlight that group, and then click Attach. And now for the card base, we need to highlight the score line change that to score, highlight that group, and click attach. And then I have two layers here that have uh, text that I want the Cricut to draw. So we need to find those two layers, highlight the text, come up to operation, change that to pen, highlight the group, and click attach. And for our second one, highlight the text, change that to pen, highlight the group, and click attach. All right, you can head on up to make it. You'll see the different mats for this project. Go ahead and click continue. I'm going to be using medium cardstock for this uh, card. Step four. Cut out the design. All right, for this project, we're going to need our cutting mat, our card stocks, scoring wheel or scoring stylus, the pen in your choice of colors. I'm using black, Cricut brayer, Cricut scraper. A weeding tool in case you have any bits that I didn't want to release from the mat. And then your glue or adhesive. I'm going to go ahead and get everything all cut out and I'll see when it's all set. Step 5. Assemble your card. Okay, now that we have everything all cut out, it's time to go ahead and start to assemble. Uh, so we have our different pieces. These are all the pieces for the layered gnomes, our different hearts for our embellishments, our outer card pieces. This is our mat and layer for the inside, and then our envelope. I'm going to take the envelope out of here just for a little bit, and we'll come back to that later. So here at the bottom, I wanted to show you how to layer the gnomes. 
So starting from left to right, you're going to layer those. For the male gnome, you start with the brown layer, then the light pink layer, the fuller beard, then the cutout white beard, and then the hat. For the girl gnome, it's the brown layer, then the light pink layer, then the pink layer with the nose cut out, then the white braid layer, and then the hat. I'm going to go ahead and layer those together and I'm going to speed the video up just a little bit. Now that we have our little gnomes layered up, let's go ahead and mat our layers. So this is for the inside here and then this is for the outer card. I'm going to go ahead and do that really quick. All right, now while that's drying, we can go ahead and fold along the score line. Press the fold with our scraper. Okay. And now we can assemble our little gnome couple. Um, I like to put them on top, you know, like they're holding hands. Um, try to center it the best that you can. If it's not centered completely, it's not a big deal. Okay, now we can go ahead and take our hearts and place them wherever you like. Uh, I designed it so that the big one's right there in the middle, and then the little ones can kind of scatter wherever. Okay, there's the front of our card. Now we can go ahead and just add our inside messaging panel. All right, there's our finished card. A love like no mother, and then happy Valentine's Day. I'm gonna go ahead and set that to the side to let that all dry. Let's do our envelope. So first thing that we need to do is add our glue to the outside edge of the inlay, and then along the cutout, on the envelope. Then go ahead and place the inlay on the envelope. Make sure to center it as best you can. Now go ahead and fold along the score lines of the envelope. Burnish the folds. Add your adhesive to the side flaps here. Bring the bottom flap up with your thumbs and press. And your envelope is done. Isn't this card adorable? I love the little gnomes on it and they layer up so nice that it's super easy to put together. Wouldn't you agree? I hope that you make this one. If you do make this, make sure to share it in our Facebook group. We have so many crafty and card making friends. I hope that you come and join us. There's a link down below. Have a great day and I will see you at the next card making video. Bye.